The most effective way to put on a mask is to use it the ear loops, put it over your ears, adjust it on your face. And once it's adjusted, you're not going to want to try and you're not going to want to touch the outside. If you're touching the outside, that's the contaminated side. That's where people are breathing or other you're touching surfaces and then you're touching your face to adjust it. If you do have to adjust your mask, it's best to clean your hands. Alcohol hand rub works just fine. Once you've done that, you can then touch your mask, which is dirty or contaminated. After you remove your hands or touch your contaminated surface, you're going to want to clean your hands again. The other thing you don't want to have happen is to take your mask and use it again. Because by this point, you have less than six inches away from your mucous membranes with the contaminated surface. And when you reapply your mask, you have to touch the dirty surface in order to put it up. The other thing you don't want to do is to remove your mask and let it hang in your face. Because again, the outside is contaminated or dirty. And when you're reapplying, it's difficult to adjust this mask without touching that contaminated surface and possibly contaminating your face. The best way to take your mask off is to find the outside, the parts that's not connected to the cloth part. Take that, pull it taut against your face, slide it forward, remove your mask down and outward. What you don't want to have happen is where you move too fast or do it too rapidly and the mask starts flipping or flopping in front of you. Because remember, this outside part is contaminated. And if you get that contaminated part flipping around, you could potentially infect yourself. N95 masks have a special filter in them and the, that filters out the air outside so that when you're breathing in, you're breathing in clean air and not the particulates from the outside. There's lots of different types of N95s, some in the construction industry, some for painters. In healthcare, we use the special healthcare versions. Once you have your cloth mask and it's considered contaminated, then I would take that off, put it in the laundry, wash it on your normal cycle with your normal detergent, and there shouldn't be any issues with cleaning it in that manner. Procedure masks, such as this, are used as a barrier to protect you from touching your face and potentially contaminating yourself. Homemade masks, such as bandanas or cloth, all they're really doing is protecting you from touching your face with dirty or contaminated hands.